Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 8, 2020, from Exodus chapter 6. Promises, promises, and more promises. God responds to Moses after Pharaoh made the situation yesterday from bad to worse. From Exodus chapter 6. But the Lord said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand he will send them out, and with a strong hand he will drive them out of his land. God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord, I did not make myself known to them. Notice how God responds by giving his name. He reminds Moses he is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And now, when God called Moses through the burning bush, he reveals his name. I am who I am. God invokes his name again to remind Moses of who God is. From Exodus chapter 6, verse 5, God continues, Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the people of Israel, whom the Egyptians hold as slaves, and I have remembered my covenant. Verse 7, I will take you to be my people, and I will be your God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who has brought you out from under the burdens of each of the Egyptians. Wow! What would be the response of the people of God as they hear the promises of God over and over again, as they hear God's name? Wow! They should be rejoicing and glad that we have a God that's on our side. But they didn't. Verse 9. Moses spoke thus to the people of Israel, but they did not listen to Moses because of their broken spirit and harsh slavery. Did Pharaoh just win by breaking the hearts and the spirit of the people? Did the events of the world just crush the people? It seems so. It seems the people were tired of hearing about promises, promises, and even more promises. Even Moses himself, verse 12. But Moses said to the Lord, Behold, the people of Israel have not listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me? For I am of uncircumcised lips. Do you trust in the promises of God? Or are the events of this world crushing our own spirits? Promises, promises, even more promises? Was that sarcasm? Or is it truly the strength of our life? Even Moses was still learning. What did Moses still need to learn? Notice what Moses said, that the people didn't listen to me. They didn't listen to Moses. Well, it's not about the promises that Moses made. It's about God's promises that God makes to his people. He just uses Moses as that instrument to communicate these promises. It's about God's promises. Many people think that the church is all about the pastor, the building, or about the activities that the church does. Actually, the church is all about the promises of God. It's not about a, a group of people that have this eloquent speaker, like called the pastor, or Moses, who quickly admitted he wasn't an eloquent speaker. It's about the promises of God, about the word of God being spoken. This people's spirit cannot be strengthened if they are distracted from God's word and promises. So we remain faithful and remember the promises of God even when we can't worship together as a community of believers. Even when church programs shut down and the church doors are closed, for promises of God is what strengthens the broken spirit. So we continue to hear and trust, not in the pastor, not in my word, but in the word of God, the promises of God. Join me again tomorrow as we trust, wait, and see. 
Thank you for watching, and please share this video with others. God's peace and many blessings be with you. If you have enjoyed this program, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.